everyone, welcome to Creating with Cassie. I am so excited for you to join me today for another Stitch Out for Me Time Deliverance Collectible Christmas program. Yay! This is the Sing Noel program, which is what they're stitching all year long, and it is the ornaments and matching tree wedges that are going to make a tree skirt by the end of the year. Isn't that fun? So this month, we're going to focus on the song, Peace on Earth, Goodwill to Men, and you'll see the beautiful little ornament that we're going to make together today. So let's go ahead and open up this package, and then we'll get stitching. And real quick before I get there, because I'm so excited, <laughs> this is a video sponsored by Me Time Delivered. If you haven't checked them out, there's a link below. They're amazing. They have so many amazing machine embroidery projects for you to have some fun, even if you've never done it before. The instructions are really easy. So let's unbox and get stitching. All right, let's open this up and pull things out. Ooh, look at this. It's a full page of stickers that match our super cute ornaments and our Christmas tree skirt. This is fun. It would be really fun to make some of the ornaments as a gift for somebody and then maybe write them a message and close it with one of these stickers. I love that. I'm going to save that for later for sure. And we have our full color instructions that show the cute design we're making. This is peace on earth, goodwill to men. And it has the beautiful birds that signify peace, the doves. And you have two of them on the wedge and then one for the ornament. And this is what we're going to be making today. So we'll make that for you today. And then we need to pull out of our card, our card that has the same image and then tells us all the things that are included in our kit and what you need. And then let's pull out our package and open it up. Open, open, open. Ta da! All the beauty. We just love it. Okay, let's pull things out. You're going to have a lot of little blue felt in here as well as your wedge. So I'm going to set that aside for a moment and let's find out what we need. So I'm going to open my instructions and you have the wedge instructions as well as the ornament instructions all in the same booklet. And the ornament instructions are always in the back half of it. So I'm going to open that up and let's see what we need. So we're going to start with some flexi foam. Okay, you, if you don't remember what flexi foam, it's this kind of a thing where it has a lot of pull, a lot of softness to it, and it's a little bit thick and spongy. So this is that flexi foam. So we're going to set that aside. We need that for our project. Looks like we have a few things in packages. This we know we need for our ornament. This is a nice piece of fabric, and we don't have that on our bird, so we know that this is going to be with the wedge. So we'll put it over there, and then we'll open this package that has all the other felt in it. Pull all this out. All right, so let's see what we need. We'll grab the wash away stabilizer for sure. And then we need white embroidery felt and you need two pieces of that. So that's going to be this felt that's in this square shape. So two embroidery felt white pieces. You need a sea glass felt. That's the darker color felt. So the, the wing behind is a little bit darker. So that's that one. And then you need the belly felt, and that is a cream embroidery felt. So that's this one right here. And we're picking the smaller pieces because we know it's gonna be smaller for the ornament. And then we need the ice blue embroidery felt, which is going to be this smaller square. And then these other ones, you have another cream felt for the stomachs of your other birds, and then this bigger blue felt for the wedge, so we'll put those over there. Okay, now that we have everything sorted, we can double check our sizes, make sure there isn't anything we need to cut. We know we need to cut the string for sure, and then we can get ready to make our project. As usual, the twine is just a little bit long, and that's okay. We can just pull that out, and we'll give it a quick little trim, keep the bead nearby. We're gonna measure out 12 inches, which is what we need for this project. Put that here. I'll move it down just so you can see it. And 12. Trim it right there. And then this excess twine we can just put away for another time we make one of these projects. All right, and there's our twine. All right, so I've already hooped our wash away stabilizer. And if you have a hard time figuring out which one is the wash away, you can always 
you get the teeniest of a corner of your stabilizer wet, but only do a little bit. You don't want it to dissolve all on you. But you can also look and see the teeny little dots. If you can see on the camera, there's just a whole bunch of little dots, and that's a really good sign that it's a wash away stabilizer. Okay, so now that we have that hooped, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch the placement line for our cute little dove, and we're going to do that directly on the stabilizer. Now that we have our cute little bird shape stitched on our stabilizer, we know exactly where to place our flexi foam. And that is the best part about this is I don't have to guess. I can just double check and make sure that it's going to be completely covered. Then I can take my Kimberbell paper tape and make sure that I secure this down until we get this stitch to our stabilizer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on this on either side, make sure I press it down really well, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the tack down line. It is time to trim, so I'm going to come in here and remove those pieces of tape, and I'm going to keep them because I can reuse them again here shortly. And now what I'm going to do is I need to trim out my cute little bird shape, and I'm going to start that by trimming out the bulk. So I don't have to necessarily be perfect on this first trim. I'm just getting as much of this excess off as possible so that I can trim it up really well. So I'm trimming close to the stitch line but I'm mostly concerned about getting rid of bulk. I'm gonna just trim right up in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut in here. I'm going to trim nice and close, making sure I twist my scissors just the smallest bit. So I'm cutting more at an angle, not flat, but not exactly straight up and down. Kind of a three quarter angle. All the way in there. And then I'm going to do the same here. There is some detail work right here and I want my bird to have as much detail as possible so I'm going to trim out just the teeniest corners here. Just like that and I'm gonna do the same thing down here on the wing, the tail, sorry, the tail of the bird. If I don't take out the bulk now, then there's no telling that I can get it to have that shape later. <laughs> so we gotta make sure we cut that out here. Then I'm gonna come along and trim up just a little bit closer and make sure I get the exact shape I'm looking for. All right, turning my hoop as I need it. That way I save my wrist some trouble. Again, removing excess, cutting along. I'm gonna cut nice and tight in here so that we can see that bird's neck. And then when I get over here, I wanna make sure that we definitely can see that cute little beak. So I'm gonna come in and make sure I cut nice and close. Then I'm going to twist and make sure I'm nice and close to this other side, but not clipping stitches. Rotating around, remove all that bulk. There you go. And if you see anything like right here, I don't really want that piece. You can always go in and trim it up a little bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect because you aren't going to see this. Just want to make sure that you remove the bulk in the areas you need so it can have the shape we're looking for. And then we can return the hoop to the machine. So what we're stitching now is the placement line for the felt that's going to go over the little bird shape we have on here. It just gives us another guideline. I love how Meantime does that. They always give us guidelines. We don't have to guess. All right, now that we have that outline stitched here, we're going to take our first piece of white felt and slide it completely covering the bird, the flexi foam, and that last line that we stitched. I like to smooth it in place to try and stick the felt 
a little bit to that flexi foam and then I can take our tape and make sure that I tack this down with the tape until we stitch around it smooth things place the tape and then we can go ahead and stitch the base tack down line now this is one we're not going to trim right now it is just one we're going to stitch and have us help hold our shape while we put the rest of the details on this cute little bird Everything that we've done so far has been in white, but we're going to go ahead and grab our first color. It is the cloud color from Glide, the really pretty light blue color that came in the Sing Noel kit, or the light blue color that you're using from your own stash, and we're going to go ahead and put that in our machine. With our blue color in our machine, we're going to go ahead and stitch the back wing placement line, and we'll just let it do that. And then if you remember right, the back wing is the darker color felt. They're very similar. But you want to make sure you're grabbing the darker one. Now that we have the little back wing placement line stitched, we can go ahead and slide that darker color felt. And this sticks really well to each other, the felt on the felt. So you can choose whether or not you want to tape it. You can absolutely tape it if you feel like it's going to slide. I like to press it really well into each other so it kind of sticks. And then go ahead and let it stitch. If I'm worried about it sliding at all, I will use a piece of tape. And we're just doing that tack down line again in that light blue color. All right, it is time to trim. I'm just going to take my scissors and cut in from a corner. Make sure I can grab that piece of felt. Now this is raw edge applique, so make sure that you trim it really well. I am pulling a little bit as I trim so that I create a little bit of a pressure to get me a better cut. I'm going to rotate my hoop and I'm going to cut the bulk. I'm going to go in and cut the little uh, detail cuts in just a second. When I get down to the rounding part again, I'm just going to move my wrist around while I cut that. Okay, so now right here I want to make sure I go in and trim out that detail. I skipped it in the first cut because I wanted to come in and cut it kind of on my terms without anything extra pulling against the felt and that way I could get the look I wanted. You can always come in here and trim it up a little bit more or less and once you're satisfied with your trimming job you can go ahead and return the hoop to the machine. Okay, now that we have our hoop back in our machine, I'm going to quick change our thread color to a Glide Super White. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. <laughs> and I'm using Super White because in other parts of this project, I used the Super White for detail. And since I know I've been doing that all along, I want to keep up with that tradition. So I'm putting Super White into my machine. And now that I have Super White in there, we're going to stitch the little cute white detail on this wing. And just so you know, you can absolutely use normal white. It's just because I use Super White enough, I wanted to keep matching with everything else. So we're going to go ahead and let it stitch this. Isn't that fun? I love it when we have detail stitching. Okay, there is a little bit of a thread here that got caught, and so I'm just gonna come in here and trim that so it doesn't get in our way at any other point in our stitching. And we can trim up any other stitches later, but I'm going to put in our linen color, which is what I'm using for our cream color thread. So use whatever color of thread is your cream for your project. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to stitch the little cream belly on our bird. Okay, we're going to start by stitching the beautiful placement line in the cream color and then get our felt piece ready to go. Okay, so now that we have that placement line stitched, we can go ahead and slide our felt over our placement line. We're gonna smooth this in place. And where I'm going to be stitching a little bit further on this, I don't feel quite as confident leaving this without some tape. So I'm gonna put some tape there and then make sure I smooth it nice and put another piece of tape here. 
And then I can go ahead with the cream color in my machine and stitch the belly. It's time to trim. We're going to start off by removing the tape that we had on our project. There we go. And then we're going to do what we did last time, remembering that this is raw edge. And we're going to cut in, pull the felt nice and taut, and cut as close as we'd like, giving it a little bit of a nice edge. I'm going to rotate as I trim here. So we're going to cut in. And up just a little bit there. And then I'm going to come in and cut around. And you can always come in, like I said before, and trim up any edges that might need it. Once you're satisfied, go ahead and return your hoop to the machine. At this point, we're going to stitch the bird's little red beak. So I'm gonna remove this tape. It doesn't need to be on there anymore. We could have removed it earlier, actually, once we had it tacked down, but I just, left it but I don't want that tape under there getting in the way possibly of our beak. So we're going to go ahead and grab our brighter red, the cardinal color from our Sing Noel thread kit or the brighter red that you've chosen for your project and we'll put it in our machine and stitch the cute little beak. All right I zoomed in just a little bit for fun so you can see this really well and we'll go ahead and stitch that beak design. Now that we have that beak stitched, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our blue color, which is the cloud or the light color blue from your own stash. We're gonna put that in our machine so we can get the main blue color of our bird on here next. What we're stitching now is the bird placement line. And this is just going to put it all the big blue part on our bird. So you can see right now where the outline is going. So right where the blue felt will be. And now that we have that placement line stitched here in our blue color, we're gonna slide the big blue piece of felt over our bird and smooth it really well in place. I am going to put just a teeny tiny bit of tape on here just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. But it's never a bad thing to use paper tape ever. So we're going to go ahead and stitch the tack down line also in that blue color. All right, it's time to remove that tape and then trim up our cute little bird. This is going to be so exciting because I know it's going to look so good. I'm rotating because I know if I start cutting over here, I'm going to have a smoother cut. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the felt, make sure I provide a little bit of tension while I trim so I can get beautiful cut lines and it doesn't look choppy. And I'm going to remove that bolt. Look, there we go, little bird. And then without rotating my hoop, I can come in here and trim. I can come back and cut those in more detail later. So I'm going to trim up and around my bird. Again, I'm going to skip trimming right here. And the main reason I'm going to do that is there is some beautiful stitching under here. And I don't want to accidentally catch any of that while I'm trimming those details. So when I can see it, it makes it a little bit easier for me not to catch any of those stitches. And I'll trim around this way on the top of the wing and then the head, providing a little tension again with my opposite hand and make sure that you trim this up nice. It's a cute little face. And then you can come back in here and do the detail trimming. So I'm just going to come and clip. And in all honesty, if you like it, you can leave it without trimming out the blue in this little scallop but I like to have that detail there. And then this got just a little bit thicker there. That's okay, we can trim it. 
And then I'm just going to pull that away. So I'm just kind of taking little bits so I can get that shape right. And you can spend as long or as short as you'd like on your trimming, just as long as you're satisfied with how it looks because there is not any cover stitches. All right, and when you like what you see, go ahead and return your hoop to the machine. What we're stitching next is the eye and a bunch of cute little wing dots. And we're going to do that in our shadow color or our dark charcoal color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my machine and then we'll get stitching. All right, we're gonna stitch first the eye and then the cute little wing detail dots. The next thing we're going to stitch is some wing detail. So I'm gonna put my super white back in my machine and then we'll stitch it. Okay, we've reached the point in our project where we need to prep our twine. So we're just going to take it and put the two cut ends together and make sure that we have a little loop at the top. And we're going to tie a knot close to the cut ends. We've done something like this before, so it shouldn't feel unfamiliar. So we're just going to make a little knot, however you like to do it and then pull it very close to the ends of the twine, just kind of like that. And then we're gonna grab our project. All right, so here's our cute project. We're gonna turn the hoop over and we're going to place the twine on the side with the wings. So not down here by the head, make sure you're doing this by the wings. And you have two lines here. You have the outside cut line and you have the placement and tack down line for the blue wing. You're going to put the twine right in between there, making sure that the twine is heading straight up and not going to be in your project. And we're gonna tape that in place. So we're just going to put that kind of right on top of it and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then we don't want this twine to go getting into trouble on our project. So we're gonna take some tape and just tape it to the top here. So that way it just stays out of the way. And then we're going to take our piece of felt and this we need to make sure we cover our project completely. It's fine that there's some tape in there. Smooth it in place and then we're going to tape this in place really well. All right, we'll take our cute paper tape and make sure we tape the corners. And remember you have your hoop turned upside down so don't press hard and pop your stabilizer out of your project. At this point you would be so sad. Just make sure that you place it on and then give it a light rub. It is sticky, so it will adhere long enough for us to slide this back into our machine like that. All right, now we're going to do the outside cut line. If you don't have white bobbin thread in at this point, make sure you have white bobbin thread. And then we're going to stitch with white thread, combining that back felt to our top felt so that they can have a nice finished edge in the back and it's not just all the stitching on the back. It will look really cute on your Christmas tree or on your gift box or your plate of cookies or whatever you're going to do to deliver this cute bird to some friends or to stare at it yourself and just enjoy it. So we're gonna go ahead and let that stitch. All right, with that, our cute little bird is all done. And I feel like I need to make another one pronto because isn't there a song about two turtle doves, right? That we should honor here. <laughs> so there it is in all its glory. Keep in mind where this string is. You don't wanna cut that. So I'm going to start on one side, making sure I have that in my hand. And then I'm just going to kind of rough cut out my bird. I have that string wrapped around my finger, so I'm not so concerned about it. I'm pulling it with me as I trim around and I'm just getting rid of excess stabilizer and I'm gonna cut kind of wide up here. Last thing I wanna do is cut that string out at this point in time. Okay, so then 
we can go ahead and trim right around our project. So what we're going to do is stitch. What we're going to do is trim on this loosely cut white line you can kind of see to the edge of this tighter stitched line. And that's all the way along the bird. And this is the one that we stitched way back in step number nine. And so we're gonna cut right along that edge, making sure we don't cut any of the stitches right there that are tighter. So again, I like to have the string on my finger. So usually I wrap it around and then I can hold it tight while I trim. And I'm going to trim right on that line. And I'm using my sharp shears for this so I can cut nice and easy. So use whatever scissors are your favorite when you're cutting through multiple layers because this is felt and stabilizer. I'm rotating this just a little bit. I still have that string wrapped around my pinky so I know where it is at all times. And then I'm just going to cut in. You can always spend a little time. It looks like I missed a couple stitches there. I can come back in. I think I'm going to do it with this side and trim those out just a little bit. All right. Okay. Still keeping an eye on that string. I'm going to come and cut the tail. And then I'm going to go around the belly. and cut this out. So while we're trimming, I'd love to know in the comments what you think you're going to do with your bird. Are you just going to put it on a tree? Are you going to give it away to a friend? Are you going to make more than one? I'm thinking I definitely have to have one on my tree, but then I might give one away as a gift. Okay, remember the string is up here. So when you get to the top of the bird, we gotta start paying attention to where that is. I have it way out here, and I know that it comes in about there in my wing, so I'm gonna wrap my string around my pinky, pinch the bird right where that is so I don't get close to cutting it. And I'm going to cut in and kind of piece this away. Rotate. I know it's not anywhere near this part of my bird. But when I get to the top of the wings, I'm gonna come right up. And we're gonna take this layer by layer. We've done this before. So we're gonna pull up our first layer, make sure that we know where that string is. And then I'm going to cut right along that piece of felt. And it looks like, oops, sorry. Looks like I need to come in here and cut that part of the wing. Okay, so I got the first layer cut. Now I'm going to peel back the stabilizer right here and trim. Then we're going to switch. We're going to pull this to the front. Make sure I'm pulling it nice and tight against the front. So I can trim the back away really well. And then I've almost finished it. I just need to do a little bit of detail trimming and we'll have our cute little ornament. So I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit and we'll show you how to put the bead on. All right, so once you have your beautiful bird all trimmed, what we're going to do is take our water pen Make sure we give it a little bit of a squeeze so we get the water coming. And then we're just going to come in and wet the edges and dissolve that stabilizer. And then I like to give it a pinch because it just kind of seals it. And then you get, a, I think, a little bit of a cleaner look. So I like to dissolve and then pinch. It just helps it look just that much better. Kind of creates a sticky edge and then you can have a nice finished pinch closed edge and work your way all around your bird. All right, so now we're going to take our twine and we're gonna tie another knot really close to the little wings here. So we're gonna push this knot all the way down and then it's time to thread our bead. So we have our nice little threader. We're gonna push it through 
our little wooden bead like usual. We're going to smooth our string, give it just a little bit of a wiggle so we can get it through, and then pull your bead through. Settle your bead down against that first knot, and then we're going to immediately tie another knot on top to complete the look. You notice there's a theme here. They all have a similar design and look. All right, and then when you have your knot in place, you are done. You guys, look what we made. Isn't it amazing? I absolutely love this cute little bird. It really is peace on earth, goodwill to men. You think of the turtle doves or the little doves that symbolize peace. And it is just so pretty. I feel like it's one of those things that you could give almost at other times of the year and not just Christmas time. So it is gorgeous and I hope that you give it a try. Thanks so much for stitching with me today. From everyone from Me Time Delivered and Creating with Cassie, we hope that you go and enjoy some well-deserved me time and make something beautiful. We'll see ya.